All right, yo, so what we're going to do this evening is we're going to break down the bars of one verse from a song not yet released, but if you did your research and you're really a fan of um, Better the Producer, uh, you probably heard the song before. If not, if you look at the pandemic documentary, uh, you would hear it there. All right, so first thing first, right? We, we gonna give these things some terminologies and, 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 and words and stuff like that, right? So instead of saying like metaphors, bars, similes, whatever, you know, we just gonna call it schemes, right? I got that from Charlie Clips, shout out to Charlie Clips. I'm sure he wasn't the first one to discover that, but that was the, uh, when, when I first was put on to the scheme and the setup, it was through him. Uh, like I, I watched him and I, and I heard him say scheme and he go, I'm so mean with it. I could do a whole nother scheme with it. And he'll take the same type of um, wordplay or ball and flip it like mad. Different. Anyway, that's what a scheme is, right? Cool. So the first verse, right? When we're going to do the setup. So I say, um, you're talking big business, living every day like it's Christmas. We thank the higher ups for the gift of life. I present the perfect present worth five mics. So let's go back, right? We're going to deal with the scheme of Christmas. Because I said we're talking big business, living every day like it's Christmas. That, that's stuff is mandatory, right? Well, let's see. Let's, let me show you how I set up the Christmas and everything else that follows. Living day like it's Christmas. We thank the higher ups for the gift of life. Gift gift goes for Christmas. That's why I said the gift of life. So I'm thanking God for the gift of life, right? I present the perfect present. Presenting and then the present. So if you take those two words, they actually spell the same way, but they just mean two different things. So we still run it off of the scheme of Christmas. You got the Christmas, the gift, present the perfect present were five mics. Now that line came in, if I remember the Source Magazine, um, albums were rated by, by the mic system. And if you got five mics, that was that was hands down a classic album. So I present the perfect present worth five mics. So that's that part, that's scheme one. All right, so scheme two, right? Each bar is gonna be its own setup, right? So what I mean by that is that I say, I present the perfect present worth five mics. I go in to say, I got a whole tribe like the homie Fife. Everybody know Fife is Fife Dog from a tribe called Quest of Rap Group from um, late 80s, early 90s. And, you know what I mean? So I present the perfect present worth five mics. I got a whole tribe like the homie Fife. We don't play games when the price is right. Now that whole scheme right there, right? Um, remember the game show, The Price is Right? So that's why I said we don't play games like the game show, The Price is Right. And then when I go from that point, I do the Dark Knight scheme. He's a joker going up against the Dark Knight. Riddle me this, riddle me Richard, then I'm out of sight. So he's a joker going against the Dark Knight, which is Batman, right? That's the whole Batman thing. And everybody know Batman had an enemy called the Joker. And he had a Batman, he got it as a Batman. He had an enemy called the Riddler, right? And when the Riddler, you know, before he, you know, displayed or showed his evil scheme. He'll say, riddle me this. So that was the whole, you know, play with that. Riddle me this, riddle me richer than I'm out of sight. Collecting dividends. Y'all yeah, call them Benjamins. You couldn't slow me down if you slipped me some riddling. The boy stays sharp, so be cutting out the middlemen. Been raised by them thugs, and they all far from gentlemen. Um, that wasn't a whole scheme collectively, but each bar meant something. Right, so I said, what was the last line? Uh, Riddle me this one, I'm out of sight. Collecting dividends, money. Y'all call them Benjamins, right? You couldn't slow me down if you slip me a Ritalin. And Ritalin is that medicine that slow people down, that have ADHD, always hyperactive, running around, da, da, da. So I was being literal and metaphoric at the same time with that whole with that whole um, setup right there. Um, the boy stays sharp. So be cutting out the middleman. I'm staying sharp as far as, you know, my, my apparel. I'm staying sharp as far as my mind. And I'm learning the business, right? And that's going to be a scheme later on. I talk about the business. Um, 
so it stays sharp. So we cutting out the middlemen, right? Boys stay sharp, so we cutting out the middlemen. Been raised by them thugs, and they all far from gentlemen. That's not a really, that's not a, a bar per se. I'm just telling the story, right? You know, with the people I was around growing up, and I wasn't around gentlemen <laughs> growing up, right? So I go into, I mastered the trade. I upgraded my name. So everybody knows I went from more better to better. The producer upgraded the name. Master the trade is learning the business of music, right? And since I've learned it and I'm still learning because this is a never ending learning experience. I'm just speaking my truth. I mastered the trade, upgraded the name. I left the hood, but still know we all one in the same. That's just self explanatory right there. Like, I'm, I'm talking to y'all right now, so that's what the whole bar is set up for. I'm letting y'all know I mastered the trade, I upgraded my name. I left the hood, like where I grew up, where I was from, I kind of moved away. But I still know no matter where I go, you still one in the same. And then I ended by saying, Destiny is catching me. I'm about to take flight. Like, two, three, or four, five, it's still the same mic. And that set up. I think it's over slim, sorry. Um, as far as like um destiny is catching me, meaning what I'm here for, what I'm purpose to do is catching up to me. I'm catching up to it. Like we're gonna meet head on. Right? And then I'm saying just like two, three, like the destiny of Michael Jordan, right? He was destined to be who he is. I'm destined to be who I am. Um, so the two, three, and four, five, what well, the reason why I went there, I wanted to show whether it's this over here, 23, or whether it's 45, it's still the same Michael Jordan. It's still the same beast. So whether it's Mo Better, the rapper, or whether it's Better, the producer, it's going to be the same beast. So if it's just me playing keys, it's going to be the same beast. And once Destiny arrives, or I arrive to Destiny, like there's nothing anyone can do about it. What God has ordained or set into place, can't nobody do nothing about it. So I'm not worried about some of the trials and tribulations I'm dealing with um, in pursuing um, what I'm pursuing because I already know what, what's purpose. I already know what's destined and it can't be stopped no matter how hard anyone try. Like my man 50 said, this is God playing, homie. This ain't mine. You feel me? So he broke down the bars. Go back, play it back, listen to it, break down to everything. I'm going to be doing this once every two weeks, just breaking down different songs. You know what I mean? So you got to understand what it is because I got a call. Someone told me about your mode. It's not connecting what you're doing. It's not connecting. I'm like, you heard the record? Nah. So how you telling me it's not connecting if you haven't heard the record? So this gave me the, 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 the idea. Let me break some stuff down. Let me, let me, let me really break it down for them. You see what I mean? They, they, it's going over their heads. I got to slow it down. Yo, easy. Peace.